Good morning, everybody. I share. Uh, you can leave it here. So what I want to say in the first seven minutes I have is, uh, okay, um, since I uh, share many of the uh, ideas and views of uh, uh, my dear friend Ami, um, we have decided to share the uh, uh, responsibility uh, to different dimensions of the, uh, of the topic. And since I am personally very involved uh, in the challenge of absorbing uh, the uh, huge Aliyah, the, the wonderful immigration to Israel in the last uh, one or two decades, uh, uh, mainly from the former Soviet Union, uh, I think we have here in this country the larger, largest laboratory uh, to practice, to examine, and to try to find uh, solutions uh, to the problem that uh, was raised here. Uh, let's just face the, the uh, practical uh, uh, issue, the reality of the Israeli society of today. Uh, as I said, uh, we have absorbed over one million uh, Jews from the former Soviet Union. I call all of them Jews because ethnically, culturally, from the point of view of their self uh, 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 definition, uh, they all consider themselves, most of them, consider themselves Jewish. Uh, there are about uh, 300,000, a little bit more than 300,000 uh, people of this uh, population, which is, by the way, about 20% of the entire Jewish population of the State of Israel, uh, a significant uh, component of this population is not halachically Jewish. But many of them have Jewish names like Kagan, Rabinovich, Bailin, and so on and so forth. And we meet them in the native courses and the uh, conversion courses of the uh, institute. Many of them have Jewish names. Many of them uh, have suffered from anti-Semitism, were considered Jewish in Russia, in Ukraine, in Lita and Latvia. And they come here and uh, they suddenly discover that they are not Jewish. They are a new kind of minority in this country, but they are not Druze, they are not Bedouins, they are not Cherkess. What are they? if they are not Jewish. Uh, moreover, we face now a new phenomenon. Children and youngsters up to the age of 18 who were born in Israel already, children to immigrant parents, about 88,000 of them are not halakhically Jewish. They were born in Israel. They grew up here. They were educated in Israeli schools. They speak Hebrew. They celebrate our holidays like the average Israeli. They serve in the army. They volunteer to the most dangerous units, combat units. 25% of our soldiers in the combat units are new emigrants, or children of new emigrants. 25%. A higher percentage of their part in the, in, in the Israeli population, in the Jewish population. Now, we have to ask ourselves if all these factors a Jewish name, a Jewish origin, a Jewish identity, Jewish solidarity, voluntarism, I Jewish idealism. All these factors should not be considered as relevant 
components in a halachic consideration to embrace them and to accept them and to at least consider these, these factors as relevant factors in the uh, entire considerations uh, when a, a rabbinic uh, Beit Din is sitting uh, and, and, and discussing and, and examining this issue. You see, the Israeli society uh, is uh, divided in various aspects to many, many sectors socially, culturally, ideologically, religiously, and so on and so forth. What can unite this divided society if not the basic fundamental sense of family? I use the, the, the paradigm of a family. Of these people, our brothers and sisters, who came back home and we are actually almost failed in absorbing them, in welcoming them. In order to uh, reach um, a solution which can be agreed upon by all streams, by all sectors, by all segments of the Jewish people, we have to find the minimal basis for absorbing them. And there is a solution within the halakha to solve the problem. This is not the time, because I'm looking at the, uh, at the clock. So uh, <laughs> this is not the time to, uh, uh, to give you a list of halakhic solutions for such a problem, but I think the, the, the idea of the Jewish people or Judaism as a civilization was not uh, uh, created for the first time by Mordechai Kaplan, although I accept his teachings as very inspiring teaching. For that purpose, we found it in the very ancient halachic sources which consider Jews of a Jewish origin, of Jewish culture, as our brothers and sisters for the sake of conversion and absorbing them into the Jewish people, integrating them into the Jewish people. We have just to find and to bring these sources, we know them, to the surface of, of the uh, uh, public discussion and to strengthen those people, those leaders uh, who uh, willing to uh, move forward in this direction in light of these values. Thank you.